created it by hand from mighty mountains to the raging sea to every leaf on every single tree it's in the holy book just open up and take a look In the town of Bethany, there was a lot of celebrating. But not everyone had heard the wonderful, miraculous news. Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. What's going on? Haven't you heard? A good friend of ours has died. Really? Then why is everyone so happy? Because he has come back to life. That's impossible. That would... <laughs> would be a miracle. I'd sooner believe that my donkey talks. Who is this man? No ordinary man, that's for sure. His name is Jesus, and he's the Son of God. We don't blame you for not believing us. We'd think the same thing if we didn't know Jesus and hadn't seen the miracles ourselves. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. I'm Peter. And I'm Andrew. Come, sit with us. Andrew introduced Jesus to me. I liked him the very first time I met him. Peter told the traveler that a few days after meeting Jesus, they were all invited to a wedding. Even Jesus' mother Mary was there. Halfway through the party, the groom saw that the wine was almost gone. Without wine, there wouldn't be anything to drink, and the party might end early. They have no wine. Is there anything you can do to help? But it's not time to let people know who I am. Okay. Do whatever he tells you to do. Go and fill six empty jars with water. Then pour the water for all the wedding guests. I don't believe it! This is the best wine I've ever tasted! Huh? The groom didn't know where the wine came from. But Andrew and Peter knew. It was Jesus' first miracle. Hmm. That could have been some trick, don't you think? No, it definitely wasn't a trick. We saw it with our own eyes. And that was just the beginning of his miracles. Like the time we were about to fish. Peter explained how Jesus was teaching a large group of people about the kingdom of God. Hello again. Please, no pushing. May I join you? Of course. Let's go out into the water. Jesus spoke to the crowd on shore for a little while longer, then said, Peter, sail out into deeper water and let's fish. 
<laughs> but Jesus, we fished all night and caught nothing. Maybe so. But now, put your nets into the water and see what you catch. Anything you say, Jesus. Our nets are about to break. <laughs> We're going to need another boat. <laughs> This is fantastic! We have so many fish, we're going to sink! Peter, Andrew, it's time to stop fishing now. What? Come with me, and I'll teach you how to be fishers of men. So Andrew and Peter quit their jobs. They stopped fishing so they could be with Jesus and learn from him. After that, they met James and John, who also joined Jesus. They became Jesus' closest friends and followed him wherever he went to teach people. We were the first of his followers, his disciples. This is James and John. So the boatload of fish was another miracle. That's well, right. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Jesus had a knack for fishing. I'm a pretty good fisherman myself, you know. That was just the beginning. There were so many other miracles. Oh, uh, this is Philip and Thomas. There was the time Jesus was teaching inside a friend's house. James told how the house was packed with people who had come to hear Jesus. We'll never get close enough for him to help our sick friend. Hmm, maybe there's more than one way to get inside. So remember, with faith, you can do anything. What are they doing? Away. Go away, do you hear? No, wait. Don't you see how hard they work to get their sick friend inside the house? What's going to happen? All of the bad things you have done in your life no longer matter. I forgive you of your sins. What? Jesus can't forgive this man. Everyone knows that only God can forgive someone who is bad. Who does he think he is? When I say I forgive your sins, there's no way of proving that I've really done anything. True, true. But you will see my power if I heal this man's body, too. Time to get up and walk home. Oh, Glory to God! This really is His Son! If Jesus can cure a sick man, then it's true that he can forgive sins too. Look, Jesus has healed me. And then the man and his four friends shouted for joy and sang all the way home. That sounds like a miracle. But maybe the man wasn't really sick, and he just tricked Jesus. What's this? Someone who doesn't believe Jesus' miracles? He thinks they're just tricks. A minute ago, you said you were a pretty good fisherman. Once I caught a camel fish this big. But have you ever been able to make a storm go away? <laughs> no one can do that.
there was the time when all of us were sailing across a lake. I'm tired and need to rest a little while. Peter, why don't you have more faith? There's no reason to be frightened when I'm with you. It's a miracle. Even the wind and water obey him. I... I don't know what to say. I hardly believe my ears. If only I could see such miracles with my own eyes. I've seen them with my eyes I've seen my friend named Jesus Turn water into wine Seeing is believing Believe in what I see When you look within your heart You'll see what I mean I can almost see the miracles Right before my eyes He fills the nets of fishermen Turns water into wine he feeds the hungry, cures the lame, gives sight to the blind. When I look within my heart, miracles come alive. I believe in miracles. I believe in Jesus. I believe in miracles. The power of God is with us. my doubts far away if only I had seen with my own eyes sometimes my brother you've got to have faith there is a man in Israel he's doing wondrous things they say he is the son of God Jesus is his name I believe in I believe in Jesus, I believe in miracles, the power of God is with us. The disciples then told about the day when Jesus was stopped by two blind men. 
Jesus, please, please heal us. Do you really think I can make you see again? Oh, yes. We've heard all about you. You are the true Son of God. We know you can make us see again. Then what you believe can happen, will happen. Just keep on believing. First, we could only see darkness. Now we can see the light of the world. Oh, what a miracle that must have been. Please, don't stop there. The disciples then explained the more people learned about Jesus, the more they hungered for his teachings. Like the day in Galilee, when he spoke to a crowd of 5,000 people. It was a wonderful day. Almost like a big surprise picnic. Can't everyone go home now so they can get something to eat? But Peter, there is so much more I want to tell them. Philip, where can we buy enough food for all these people? It would take eight months of work to pay for all the food for a crowd this size. Jesus, I found a boy who has five loaves of bread and two fish. The boy gladly gave Jesus his food. After blessing the food, Jesus gave it to his disciples to hand out. It was just a little bit of food, but it filled every basket they had and kept filling them. And after everyone had eaten, they collected the leftovers and found that there was enough to still fill every basket. Jesus had performed another miracle but the day wasn't over yet. Right after the wonderful picnic, Jesus sent his disciples back across the lake. Don't be afraid. I'm coming to help you. Jesus, is it all right for me to come out to you? Come ahead, Peter. sink, Peter. Because at that moment I lost my faith. I didn't totally believe in Jesus or what he was doing, but he showed me how. Greetings, Thaddeus. Oh, for such wonderful things to happen, Jesus must truly be the Son of God. But we haven't told you about one of the greatest miracles of all. James told about the time when Jesus heard some very bad news about his friend, Lazarus. Lazarus has died. Oh, how sad. We're sorry, Jesus. Don't be, my friends. He's dead, but I'm going to bring him back to life. When I do, it will help you to believe in me. 
they found Lazarus's sisters waiting in front of the burial tomb. Jesus? I'm sure Lazarus wouldn't have died if you had been there. Martha, anyone who believes in me will live again, even if he has died. Do you believe that? Yes, because I believe you are God's son. Then take away this stone. God, may everyone now see that you have sent me to give life. Lazarus, come out. Jesus must be the Son of God. Then Peter told the traveler about Jesus' most important, most wonderful miracle. It happened three days after his own death. It was on a Sunday when John and Peter went to where Jesus was buried. But he was gone. Jesus came back to life. He then visited his disciples. They first saw him down by the water. What are we supposed to do now? We should become fishermen again. What else can we do? The sea is completely empty. Yes, we fished all night and we haven't caught a thing. Hello! Have you caught any fish? Not even one! Try again. Throw your net over the right side of the boat. Hey, look! It's Jesus! Quick, let's row to shore! You go ahead, I can't wait. Good morning, Peter. Call to the others. Let's have fish for breakfast. In all, Jesus has been here with us for 40 days now, telling us about the kingdom of God. Oh, how wonderful. I only wish that I... Peter, there you are. Oh, hey, let's let's go. Go. Let's see. Yeah. Good to see you. I give you my blessings. And now it is time for me to return to heaven so I can be with my Father. Now go out into the world and teach everyone you meet about me. Remember, I'll always be with you through the Holy Spirit. We must leave now, my friend. I and the others are going to Jerusalem to begin our life's work, to tell others like yourself about Jesus. Remember everything that we've told you today and believe in the miracles of Jesus. I believe. I believe. I believe.